Undercurrent speaks to Dr Simon Martin about new ideas surrounding drug use prevention and the cultural impact of addiction. The current debate is an interesting one and it's about how we've gone from abstaining from drugs and drug use to now looking at the interesting notion of education around drug use. And I'm going to be speaking with Dr Simon Martin who's a chiropractor here in Perth on his personal view of how he sees this change going into the future. I think one of the first things to mention is to talk into what we actually mean when we say the word drugs. Um, the word drugs has a lot of connotations to it. I prefer to use the word substances because with drugs some people may or, may, may or not think alcohol is in that for instance. Some people when we say drugs might think pharmaceuticals. Some people when we say drugs might come to feel that that's more related to illicit substances. Um, substances which might have detrimental impact on uh, the community such as methamphetamine or something like that. What I'd like to uh, bring into the conversation is actually looking what ancient cultures have been doing for thousands of years all over the world um, in relation to substance use, uh, particularly from a spiritual point of view and creating meaning and where we can bring meaning into our culture internally it ends up being at a place where people externally aren't seeking for this uh, meaning outside of themselves in addiction, in whatever form addiction takes, which very commonly um, in this modern day is illicit substances. Do you feel like what's happening at the moment in terms of WA being labelled the methamphetamine capital of the world um, is due to that breakage of the linkage of, of the history and society? I was talking to an Aboriginal liaison not long ago and his suggestion was that, that the highest law in Aboriginal culture is grandmother's law. And gra the grandmother that he was connected to said this one, one pertinent thing, and that is the, the, the land needs to be sung. If the land isn't sung, then the people get sick. All right, so. And I guess that's one of the form of sickness is perhaps drug abuse or turning to drugs as an answer mm -hmm. to what people are missing in their lives. What, what is your view on alcohol being a, a form of drug? Uh, alcohol, in my opinion, is, a f is the drug of forgetting. I think that what happens is there is the emotional body, which is uh, connected with, as we could say, the mother or the earth, and then there's the, the consciousness centres, which is connected more so you could say the father or something like that. And, and my personal belief is in Indigenous culture is so connected with the land. They're connected with the body and the feeling body. And I feel like there's so much repressed emotion in youth growing up in Western culture, playing on their mobile phones, connected with computers, having no training on basic stuff like intimacy, uh, how to have relationships, um, all this sort of stuff that uh, trauma unintentionally starts to happen. That, they, that when they connect with their emotional body, it's painful and they're unsure how to negotiate it. I feel like the youth of today, they, they come into this, this, this key point in, in human development where they, they feel pain and instead of going into it right, and learning from it and being comfortable with being uncomfortable, what happens is they disassociate from it and go away from it. Right? The substance problem in WA is less about the substances and it's more about the lack of self-love, right? To actually bring your consciousness into your heart and have an inner marriage, coming into uh, inner union, right? True embodied spirituality. And when that's not there, when there's not elders to hold us in learning how to actually love and marry ourselves before we go out and marry other people, that's when people go into either addiction Right, whether it's looking at your mobile phone, sex addiction, whether it's violence or thought addiction, right, whatever, work addiction, or they go into attachment, right, into body and letting it run out through those ways. So I think it's a fascinating uh, discussion point and I think the context of it is just as important, if not more important, than the content. Well, it's very interesting because you've opened up the debate now from uh, rather than just looking at the drug use or the, um, the, the term drug even into more about exploring the entire cultural landscape and the, the form of connection and disconnection as well as even um, addiction as the topic rather than drug use being the topic. Simon, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you, Bess. I'm Bess Tadros for Undercurrent.